When your worm farm arrives, it'll come with a protective film to stop the panels from being scratched. It'll also arrive on a pallet, which will be secured by some L brackets. To remove those L brackets, you'll need an 8mm socket or an 8mm spanner. To open the lid, you'll undo our lockable clasps. And on the inside of the lid, you'll find some reversed handles. They've been placed in there to protect them from uh, damage during freight. So you'll grab a Phillips head screwdriver, remove those and reverse them to put the handles onto the outside. Inside your worm farm, you'll see all of the required bedding. It'll come with some dehydrated cocoa peat and a bale of straw, as well as some comprehensive instructions. So once you've got your worm farm in a shaded area, what we want to do is adjust the legs to have the worm farm on a slight angle forward. This is because we want the leachate to be able to drain out of the tank. So before we start putting the cardboard and the straw in, we want to get the cocoa peat rehydrating. We started this a couple of hours ago and we do it by filling the wheelbarrow up to halfway, allowing the blocks to soak up the water and then coming back to check it and adding more water as needed. The biggest thing that you're looking for is a coffee ground like consistency and to avoid any dry bits. What I've gone ahead and done is ripped up the cardboard that was used to protect your worm farm during freight. This is going to become the first layer of our bedding. So once you've ripped it up into smaller pieces, you're going to place it in there on top of the scraper system. Because cardboard is a carbon source, you want to give it a good misting. The next layer of bedding is the straw that came with your grande. So you're going to distribute that evenly on top of the cardboard. I've now put about half the bale of straw in there. What we recommend doing is keeping the other half of the bale around as a carbon source for later down the track. Now that that's all in there, we're going to give it a really, really good watering. And what we want to see is a few drips of water coming out of that front tap. That will tell us that we have tilted the worm farm uh, at the correct angle to ensure that all the leachate will, will come out of that front tap. The best way to check that your cocoa peat has rehydrated to the appropriate moisture level is by grabbing a handful of the cocoa peat, squeezing tightly, and you're looking for one to two drops to come out of the bottom of your hand. And that's how you know that it's ready to be put into your worm farm. Now that the cocoa peat is to a coffee ground like consistency and I've done the squeeze test, it's time to use a bucket to place the cocoa peat on top of the straw. Now that you've got all your bedding in, all that's left is to add your worms. 